Hey guys, this is Jay in the Backyard Woodworks. I am uh, getting ready to make a fountain pen for a client. Uh, it's pre-ordered, and I have all the pieces here. This is the uh, fountain tin pieces, and uh, I have a drill for that size. I've got the bushings that I had to get for that, and uh, I've got an uh-oh blank, so I have a blank, and in case I have a problem, I have a backup blank. And so this one is actually a glowstone blank. It uh, glows lime green at night or in a dark room. And during the day it looks uh, really off-white, kind of pearlish colored. And so we're going to get going on this. Okay, so at this time I've marked the blank for the lengths of the tubes and cut them using my uh, chop saw. And um, I have put the drill bit into the drill over there. And because it's such sublime temperatures in here today, it's taken a good five minutes for the drill to um, uh, warm up enough so that I can actually drill a hole in the blanks. So that's what I'll be doing next. So I just finished drilling the blanks. I now have a uh, 10 millimeter hole that goes all the way through both halves of these blanks. Um, I will then take some sandpaper and scrub up this black, uh, this brass tube and glue it inside the uh, blank. Uh, the reason that we scratch it up is because they use a uh, they use some sort of uh, lubricant when they extrude this out and I was told that um, you want to get that that lubricant off there and the scratch marks also help give the uh, glue some place to grip onto for long term. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and scratch up the tubes and get them glued inside the blanks. And uh, I will come back once that's done. Alright, so uh, I've got the, the brass tubes glued in now. And I decided to play around a little bit. This is the the little remainder from the actual blank itself and um, what I got on it now is I got a halogen lamp that I'm blasting light on and um, as you can see I've got it in my little my little studio clip here uh, this is actually where I do the uh, the pictures when I'm done with the actual uh, pins but uh, so I've got the halogen light on it for this entire time and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and turn the halogen light off and you can see that it will go from this uh, white pearly looking color to uh, this is the nighttime color that it glows it is a uh, called moon rock and uh, as you can see it makes for a very interesting it's gonna make for a very very interesting pin all right now we're back we have the uh, brass tubes glued in and I've trimmed the ends using the disc sander to bring the end of the blank flush with the end of the tube on both ends on both blanks at this time, we're going to go ahead and set these up to be turned. Uh, the first thing we do is we start with the, this will be the upper blank, which is where the pin cap will be. And this is the specified uh, bushing for that. Next, I have the center bushing, which will go on in the middle. The tenon slides inside the brass tube. This bushing height will mark the height of the turning on this. Uh, this bushing matches the same height of that bushing. Uh, there's a slight step down. We'll set the uh, second blank on here and finish it off with the ending cap. All right. So you can see here we still have the center line here. So it, these two pieces, other than where the blade cut, was uh, exactly the same formation of uh, how the blank was made. And we do that in case, it's a good habit to get in, but we actually do it in case uh, maybe you're turning something that has a pattern that goes to it and you want to be able to pick up that pattern. 
and that is why we do it like that. All right, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and seal it and put the cap on the... We don't lock it down. I'll, uh, I'll move the tailstock in place, and um, then I'll lock it down more, and I'll start... I keep I call it trimming the fat, but I'll start taking it down to uh, round. So uh, this is the last time you're gonna see the this part square, and after this, it'll be round. All right, now I'm not sure if this is gonna fall off the wall or not, but my uh, uh, all of a sudden I thought just hang it upside down by its cord so uh, it's being charged it's on the charger and I have it hanging upside down by the uh, the cord and it is on my pegboard so uh, maybe this will give you a good view of uh, the turning process and uh, it won't fall off the wall so we'll see how it goes All right, uh, I sped up through the turning point, but uh, this blank just now 
got smooth. All the all the sharp corners and flat edges are now off it. That's how much time it took to get this pin round. Now I still need to go down to the bushings on both sides and I need to take this blank down to its proper depth and thickness. Uh, this specific blank, I went back and looked at the instructions and there is a uh, eighth inch tenon that I have to cut on this blank all the way down to the brass tube. So this, this pin is going to take a little bit more time than uh, a normal pin does. And this uh, this blank is actually, uh, it's really sh soft and it's uh, coming off almost in a powder as opposed to uh, normal uh, acrylic comes off in ribbons and uh, hardens up immediately. This stuff is coming off in a powder form and it's falling down onto uh, this uh, tool rest arm and uh, it is actually hardening up there into a thick really thick paste of some sort so uh, this I don't know if you can see in the video but this right here is my shop vacuum cleaner and it is absorbing most of the stuff uh, I call it my separator the saw sawdust and and airborne dust gets sucked down in here and what doesn't falls into a 55 gallon trash can that is below it so uh, let me keep going on this it's Super Bowl Sunday and I want to go inside and watch uh, one of the teams lose today not sure whether the Ravens or the 49ers are gonna pull it off but I predict one of the brothers uh, for the uh, team coaches will lose and uh, one of the brothers will be victorious that is my official prediction as a non sports playing person and uh, alright let me get back to this thanks
Okay, so at this point, I'm uh, going through these uh, levels of sandpaper. Uh, they are being dipped in water. They're uh, basically wet, dry uh, sanding pads. And um, I dip them in the water. And then I get a good slurry going. And then I move on to the next one. I just wipe it off. Basically, what sanding pads are, are uh, it's sandpaper, and it goes from a really rough grit to a really fine grit. And uh, the whole art of doing this is essentially a sand. When you sand something, you're scratching the surface, and with these different levels of grit, you're actually taking it. It'll feel smooth to the touch. But if you got out a microscope or something, you'd see that there's scratches all over it. It's just a, um, just a different process. We're, we're, we're just scraping it down until hopefully you can't see it. And uh, you usually can't, and it looks great. We've got different things we're doing here. We go through some sandpaper. We go through some, uh, some paste wax sandpaper. Um, and then I finish it off with a buffing wheel I have. Actually, uh, I got three more grits to go through after this, and then um, then we'll get into the paste, wax, sand, paper, whatever you call it. This one is uh, 6,000 grit. We do uh, 8,000 here. Then we finish up with 12, 1200 crits. Twelve thousand, whatever. You guys get the point. And then I like to use my naked eye to see if I've missed something or 
can still see streaks. <coughs> Excuse me. This uh, this pin here is gonna be uh, for Anne Marie. She's getting married, and her mom wanted to give her a pin that she could use to uh, sign her uh, vows at the courthouse. I'm assuming that uh, she was referring to when she goes to get her marriage license itself from the county courthouse or wherever they're going. Maybe Vegas. Probably not. It's a planned event. I don't really know. They live somewhere down in the south. I think it's Mississippi. Alabama. Somewhere down there. In any case, congratulations to you, Anne Marie. All right, so this is looking pretty good now. All right, so this is the finished uh, pin. I've gone through uh, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ten different levels of sandpaper. Uh, here's the chart right here on the wall. It takes it all the way down to a 12,000 grit. And um, it has done a superb job. It hasn't left a single scratch that I can find. Sometimes on these pens, I got to go through and um, sand a couple of times because I'll find scratches and whatnot. But on this one, I've not found a single scratch. So we're back working on uh, Anne Marie's pen. And I've changed up the lathe here to my buffing wheel. And uh, I'll go ahead and do the uh, buffing compound on there and uh, get the scratches and uh, last minute fine detailed stuff out of the pen. And then we'll uh, press her together and have a nice looking pen, I'm sure. Alright, so I got the, I got the uh, buffing wheel all ready to go and I'm going to uh, buff out these pen blanks real quick. So we start by taking a... Uh, I take I use a paintbrush, a little small one. And I just slide it. I slide the pin blank onto the uh that way I don't lose it. It sometimes has a tendency to go shooting out of your hands if you're not holding it right. So this gives me the leverage to hold on to the pin blank so I don't lose it. At this point we're done with the uh, turning process and the sanding process. Uh, I've now buffed it to um, near perfection and uh, we'll move over and press this together at the bench. Okay I got all the pieces laid out now 
and there's quite a few of them and I got the pin blank here uh, still all ready to go I've got my pin press here and uh, I got the instructions here that need to be carefully followed so I'm gonna put the phone down and hopefully the recording won't mess up and you'll get to see the whole process without seeing me because I don't like seeing myself so It says take all the pieces out and line them up. <laughs> 